If you come to Venice, you have to check out this pedestrian bridge by Santiago Calatrava. It's a classic Calatrava bridge in that it's got a sort of organic form look. But what I want to quickly go over with you is some of the detailing and the sort of expression of the forces that are in this trust arch pedestrian bridge. It's So here I am in Venice. The, the key part that we're noticing as we're starting off from the ground, these sort of sculptural forms which enter you, a very sort of welcoming entrance, smooth organic forms made out of stone, kicking back over through and a sort of launching point right there, there where my little finger is, which really starts to represent the sort of the, both the thrust of the arch coming into the abutments, but also launching off point for where you start the bridge. And what I wanted to show you, if I can back up appropriately, there we go. Look at these, the sort of expression of the form of the bridge, really just, just thumping in the compression, compression forces that are coming from this bridge, represented widening out as you go along into, look at that. Look at this a sort of sculptural form that he manages to achieve to, he sort of, you can do this in many different ways, but he represents the forces so well. And then the sort of bone-like structure of the bridge as it crosses over, right? There's his sort of, um, sort of, it looks like vertebrae going across. You see a lot of Santiago's early sculptures, he sort of showed this form working. And as he did this, whoa, I hope I'm not making you too dizzy. It really is a beautiful bridge to walk across as well, a very sort of calm curvature. There's been some controversy over the years with slippery steps, which is very real and people have slipped and hurt themselves. But in terms of an experience, the geometry, the, the, the promenade as it were, the sort of launching and experience as you cross the bridge, it really is quite unique. So come with me as we walk across the bridge. Here's, as you're gonna see as we're walking, this sort of smooth representation of the guardrail, very welcoming to your hands. These steps, it's sort of not, it is not accessible by wheelchair or in any other sort of wheeled uh, equipment that could help people at all. In fact, notice right here, oh, there we go. Even a stroller's doing the thunk, a thunk, a thunk. Well, I hope that kid's appreciating Calatrava's design while they're thumping down this bridge. <laughs> Poor them. <laughs> But um, there's a mix of stone and glass that's being used as you walk along this, um, this bridge. And the views really are quite incredible. As you're sort of enjoying prime Venice. Um, it's actually quite interesting. On one side, it's, it's a whole bunch of bus depot. I'll show you. Go check that out. Not so great. Who knew there were buses in Venice? Right? <laughs> that's, anyway, once you cross over to this stage, then you start getting into the glorious, well-known Venice, Venezia, that is here. And so when we go up to, oops, we go up to the, this is quite interesting because the steps vary. The riser, essentially, varies in height, which makes for a very odd walking experience, I have to say. Sort of get thrown, you know that bit when you miss a step, you feel you missed a step. Anyway, as we get to this top part, this is wonderful. This feels like you're just skating along this even surface here at the top before you cross over down down through to to the rest of the bridge. Anyway, come to Venezia, check out the Calatrava Bridge. It's near the main railway station and uh, takes you from the bus depot down into main, main Venezia. See ya.